This video is brought to you by FreeAutoResponse.com, where your professional autoresponder is 100% free. Okay, here we are at uh, Twitter feed. Uh, this is a great tool for uh, feeding your YouTube account to your Twitter account, your blog to your Twitter account, uh, just about anything uh, that has uh, an RSS feed you can uh, feed to your Twitter account. Okay, first of course the Twitter feed you have to uh, open up an account. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, just log in. Open up your account. And here I'm logged in. Uh, as you can see, I've got uh, several uh, feeds set up. Okay, I'm just going to set up a new one here, show you how to do it. Click on create new feed, uh, create new Twitter feed. Okay, got that down. Oops, got to go back up. Okay. Uh, authenticate your Twitter username and password so it can have access to your account. There's my username and password. Okay, now we uh, test that, make sure it's uh, all tapped in correctly. And you can see there it is, uh, all good to go. Now, down here below is the RSS feed URL. This is the feed from YouTube, the one that uh, you will pick up and you will send it to uh, Twitter. Okay. Uh, now, the thing is, YouTube does not provide this. This is something you have to uh, develop yourself uh, or figure out yourself, which I've done here. Here is mine. Uh, it's http colon slash slash www dot youtube dot com slash rss slash user slash ernie v9 which is my username that's where you'll put your youtube username in there then slash and videos dot rss okay that's critical and you're going to have to uh, write this down because as i said at the time of uh, making this video uh, youtube does not uh, provide that. So that's a critical uh, piece of information that you can only get here. Okay, so you copy that. I don't know if I copied it or not. Yes, I did. I copied it, so there it is. Let's test it. And it's, uh, the feed was parsed successfully, so that means we're now communicating with YouTube. So, uh, and we're hooked up here with, with Twitter so we're basically done we just have to set a few of the uh, settings okay let's update every 30 minutes you can do it every hour every day whatever you want post up to five the most you can post is five let's select that uh, title and description uh, this is what will be included in your tweet uh, you can check title only or title and description uh, whichever one you want, I don't think it makes much difference. Always make sure this is checked because this will include your link uh, with your tweet, which you always want to do. This will sh shorten your URL. Uh, pick every, whichever one you want, whichever one you're using, or whichever one you want to use. I use Trim, so I'll put that. You have to enter your username and ID for Trim now because it's going to shorten every URL it sends out to your to your uh, Twitter feed. Okay. Okay, there's mine. And we're going to come down here to uh, publish date. Uh, that's uh, the default. We're going to leave it there all the time. Uh, prefix each tweet with uh, 20 characters. If you want to prefix your tweets with something, you can do it there. Uh, filter by keyword. If you want to filter by keywords, uh, you can do that. And whatever keywords you put in here, uh, only those uh, tweets containing those keywords will be uh, uh, allowed through and fed to your Twitter uh, account. Then you uh, have active. You want to make this active uh, so it will work, of course. So push create. Okay, now here we are back. I think it's going to be at the bottom. So we go down to the bottom. 
and there you see it that's the uh, the feed we just created right there it doesn't have a green check box see it says not checked yet because it's a new feed uh, but as soon as it checks and it picks up the feeds or, or check and make sure that it's communicating which it'll do every 30 minutes then you'll see a green check by you know it's uh, working properly um, okay that's it for Twitter Twitter feed it's uh, it's a great tool uh, go there now and sign up okay thanks bye